Two years ago, we came to Reading, Pennsylvania to see the Bailey's private war house. So when we found out they were opening a new one, we had to go back. Because when the Baileys do something, you know it's going to break the rules and change the game. Their new public warhouse gym is the ultimate training facility. Built like a playground for their members, it boasts the best equipment brands in the world spread through a massive main gym, an old school power room built in a meat locker, and a dark dungeon where you can step back in time to the days of training in the garage. It's both beast and beauty because it's Rob and Dana's public warhouse and you can train here. Oh. I'm Big Ron Partlow, and this is Mutant on a Mission. Hey guys, here we are. We're at the new war house, the public war house. If most of you thought it would never happen. It's right here. Come on inside. What's going on? What's up, man? You, got, you work in the front desk. Yes. Hey. Stand here, please. Yeah, I don't have a membership yet. Is wow. this going to be a problem? Yes. <laughs> yes. How are you? Good to see you, man. Yeah. Good to see you again, darling. Rob and Dana Lynn Bailey, you guys know the deal. It's been, uh, I guess, like a year and a half since we were down at your your private gym. I sweat a little bit. It's a dry spot left right there. <laughs> and a lot's changed. Yeah. A lot has well, changed. The last time I saw you guys, about a year and a half ago, we were living in the warehouse, so you took a tour of our private warehouse gym. So this is our first public gym. This is an entirely different gym now. The public. Yeah. Public. The public warehouse. <laughs> you took a, a, a business that was going uh, soft yes. and you uh, said, it up screw that. Yeah. We're going to do things our way. So for I thought like 15 to 20 years, this has been a world's gym. Up to about seven years ago, we actually trained here, went uh, and started training in our in our warehouse, and then came back and decided to, to buy it. Well, 100%. Show me around. Let's have a look. Uh, first of all, right off the bat, I love the. I wish my living room looked like this. <laughs> it could. Right? Dana it could. is in charge of the interior design. You want to come and paint my place? I love it. This is like a type of place I'd hang out. That's what we want. That's uh, we feel like the gym should be somewhere where after you're done training, you should want to hang out. Yeah. Um, so that's why we have the seating area. That's why you know shake bar. Good we want to be there. like a like a bro hangout. You know, so Friday nights. Friday night instead of going to the bar, come hang out at the gym. I see you got uh, some new stuff here. Yeah, we come out with a new shirt every single week, trying to keep it fresh. So. Well, I would say once a week is fresh. Did you bring kids with you? No, I didn't bring kids. If you did, okay, you should if see you the kids zone. Kids zone. Is this where the kids deadlift? No, this yeah. is where they get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is the this is the children's deadlift area. Yes. No, it's a women's bar. So we actually keep it. I actually don't know why this is <laughs> this is here. <laughs> So it's quiet right now because this is during the day, but at night there's like 30 kids in here. There you go. Okay, I gotta do it. I don't know what this is rated for. <laughs> How am I doing for time? You're doing good. You're doing is this good. a first thing or not? Woo! This is. <laughs> okay. Ron went faster than Dana did. Is that the workout for today? Yes. Yeah, we're done. We are done. All right, so to the left here, this is evolving. This is going to be the game room. You going to get a foosball table? Yeah. I really no, feel like don't I'm... just say yes to things like that. <laughs> People are going to ask, where's the, foosball uh, where's the foosball table? Air hockey. Air That's hockey. Canadian. My favorite thing about the gym is that it's a constant process. We're always changing it. We're always bringing in new equipment, so the gym never gets stale. It's like coming to a brand new gym all the time. I gotta say it right off the bat, the best leg extension in the world. Yes. yes. And you guys not only have the leg extension, but the whole damn line. We have everything. Yes. And uh, so now that it's all sort of gone super popular and you're seeing it at more gyms, I love running into this equipment. Yeah. Converging shoulder press? Yep. We're gonna have to try this one later. 
Here's your, your curl you were talking about. So yeah. we have the pin loaded and we have the uh, the plate. Right. You're tall like me, so you know how you bottom out machine Yeah, I hate that. I, I hate how half oh, the stuff I use. This so this thing adjusts all the oh, way to here. Oh, no way. So I mean, you can, I mean. Oh, shit. See, this is a problem that I run into all the time. A lot of pull down machines, even like some of the hammer strength, like the hammer strength high row, I bought them out on it. Yeah, the always. stack sets down. Always. And you got four deadlift platforms yes. right here in the middle of the gym. Yes. And it's something else. Shock bin. Like, you know? and, and we evolved. So when we got two deadlift platforms and we saw that they were full, we added two more. Well, I always tell people that a gym is only as good as its leg gear. Yeah. So let's Ooh. see your leg gear. When we first entered, we realized that gym only had two squat racks. And I right. said, that's not okay. So we ended up getting this rogue rig, which has six stations. So six people can squat at once. This all of a sudden was packed. And all of a sudden everyone was squatting, it seemed like every day. So as a responsible gym owner, we said, we need more racks. So we ended up getting six more over there. I know I did it when we were at Quad's gym and I've said it on camera a dozen times, but my favorite hack squat and my favorite leg press, the old school Nebula stuff, I love it. It's hard to find now. Yeah, with the new equipment, we are making sure to keep a bunch of the old stuff yeah, because there's yeah. things that just, you know, work. And now uh, Legend embroidered the... Yeah, and we sort of fucked up. So if you get them embroidered, don't get white logos. Because <laughs> they instantly, I mean, day one, they change color. So would you have gone with like silver? I would have gone with gray. Yeah. Gray. Or we would have done black on black. <laughs> right. It is gray. We went gray. Oh wait, it's, yeah, no, that was... <laughs> <laughs> we, we went with a gray. We went with the, what we call a dirty white. It was never white. It was, uh, it was always this color. War white. Ooh. Yeah. We encourage chalk. People, people, I think people have been watching too many, uh, too many LeBron fucking videos. Yeah. Because they get in here with the chalk and it's like, what are you doing on the calves? It's like, you're doing calves. Why the fuck did you oh, throw chalk, chalk on the ground? I've seen Watson dumbbells before but they were in Australia at Doherty's. Yep. And obviously at like FIBO at the rack, at the, yeah. you know, where they had the setup. But I didn't know if they were gonna put pounds or, or keep them kilos. Well, so they, the they give you the option. Okay. Now listen, America. They said, we can change them to pounds for you. I said, no, fuck that. England makes the best dumbbells. So I'm gonna keep them English. So when's the Rob mural going up? Well, it's right there. I'm in the center. Rob, Rob's front and center. Oh, okay. We don't okay. Want to put my face on it because we don't want to scare right, anybody. Right, right. I was just looking at the hat, and then I saw Dana. I thought it was all Dana. Oh. Oh, there you go. Ah. See my beard peeking down there? Yeah, yeah. There you are. Now you've got some uh, other rooms here, some other Ooh. areas. Like I, I haven't even seen the cardio yet. So why don't we have to have a quick Who cares about one? cardio? Is it who cares about no, cardio? No, I'm even choosing. Who cares about cardio? <laughs> So what was up here before? Offices? I think there was one row of cardio, and then this was all weird equipment that was useless. Right. A weird ab world over here. Right, right. Um, if you want this, you can have it. We just can't get it down the stairs. Yeah, it's like one of those glute things, isn't it? Yeah. Like glute cardio? So if you want it. Jonathan, can you fit this weird thing in your luggage? Yeah, I'll show you how it's done. All right, so next we'll take you in the Group X room, which is just another odd room. They do aerobics-y things in here. So I asked Rob earlier, I, I, when I started seeing all these rooms, I was like, well, what, what was this before it was a gym? And he said it was an old grocery store. It was an old grocery store, yeah. And that may, would make a lot more sense yeah. to me. So like, this could have even been a storage or, a storage or dry storage or something. something. A lot of guys come back here and like to take off all their clothes and, you know, right. so. As we do. That happens a lot yeah. back here. Every once in a while I hop in and then Dana's like, what are you doing back there with those guys? I'm like, I'm sorry. I was just <laughs> trying to see if my hams are coming in. Everyone is posing. So this was the meat locker. You can tell. So we're in it. It's like a five degree drop. Yeah. So show me this rack, cause this oh. is a motherfucker of a rack. Jesus. The Pittsburgh Steelers helped design this with Prime. Are you listening, Erica? You don't even have it bolted down and you can't move it. No, it's it's 6,000 pounds. What sold me was I saw it and they said, yeah, they, they've had a, a guy benching over here, a football player benching, and then like a 320 pound dude over there doing pull-ups. And this guy can't tell that they're over there doing pull-ups. So that bracket there will line up perfectly with those and then you'll know that your bench is right in the middle. Yeah, so now you're always dead center. You're always locked in. Okay. So, now, and then you guys have seen a lot of our custom made stuff. So flashback. 
to the back workout that we did. The Superman bench, I called it. Yeah, you see the addition of the bar too, so you're yeah. higher now. Awesome. You got one more room, don't you? Yeah. We got bathrooms and saunas, but who cares about bathrooms? Yeah, bathrooms. We have one more, one more special room. Um, it's a secret room. Yeah, it's the secret know room that if you are part of the township or or something, we this isn't you're not allowed down here. All right, so there's a bunch of like weird pocket rooms back here that we uh, we ended up just walling off. But welcome to the basement. Enter with purpose. Yeah. I love your product names. You gotta take it serious. I love <laughs> all your product names. And the basement. This is as dungeon as it fucking gets. Yep. So down here, uh, the stereo is controlled by yourself. The speakers over there, you plug in. Plug in your iPod. You can play it loud enough to where it makes your ears bleed. We're keeping it very functional and we're keeping it simple. <clears throat> Dumbbells only go up to, I think, 35 or 40. Right. Very minimalistic, but if you know how to lift weights, it's everything you need. I see you guys filming down here sometimes. Yeah. Is that when you're feeling like extra spunky or uh, feeling extra dirty or gritty or? I mean, it's the way we like to train. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. I got it. They won't be able to get it over the camera, but it smells like grease yep. and petroleum. I Like a shop. It's it smells old, like a shop. An old, yeah. old basement. We call it a gymception. So it's a, it's, a, it's a gym inside of a gym, so it's gym inception. When you're in it, it feels real. The thing is, most is that like the VIP VIP room in uh, Zoolander? Derek, back on top, man. Thanks, Billy. Sort of. We're interested in everything. That's why you see us doing CrossFit. That's why you see us doing yoga. He's a, he's a polyathlete. I was what's called an extreme sports polyathlete. Uh, snowboarding, motocross. My one regret from visiting the Warhouse and training with the Baileys was that we didn't go train in the basement. I gotta go back there someday just so I can plug in my iPod, blast some metal, take my shirt off like Rob does, you know, and just pound out a back workout. We sort of did something last time we visited you guys. You know, it's Mutant on a Mission and it's about the gym, but we got to see inside your life a little because you were living at the Warhouse. Sorry to interrupt your important meeting. I hope it's nothing bad. So we figured since we came back, I know you guys at the gym is separate now, but we want to see the goats and on the we farm. And a new baby goat. And a new baby Two days old. <laughs> so you're a grandmother? I am a great goat grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot more. We're not nearly done with Mutant on a Mission, because we're going to go see some goats and some turkeys. And some chickens. And then we're going to see some delt pumps yes. later on. Ooh. We're gonna go see the farm. Is this a Bailey farm? Yeah, a little mini farm. It's pouring rain out, so bear with us. I got Rob's boots on. Rob let me some mutters. Six size shoes. Yes. Big dudes. Hey guys. Oh my the goodness. Baby. I've never pet a baby goat before. Two days He's old. so cute. This is Maddox. Hey Maddox. Pretty wild for two days old, like crazy. He even got like a hairstyle already. Yeah, just like his mama. So. Hey. Hey, mama gets you. So we get to the Bailey's house and we check out their farm. Hey, Maddox. And you can tell that they love it because it's completely different from the fitness industry. This is Maisie. This is the mom. And that's Max. It's separate from the gym. It's separate from the, the clothing and the supplements. It has nothing to do with any of that. And you can tell that's why they love it so much. Huh. Do they? Be, do you find they behave like dogs in a lot oh, of ways? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, like we walk through the woods. We walk and they just follow me wherever I that's go. That's awesome. Yeah. The goats are like a nice. It turns off the world, and you just hang out with them. They don't. They don't care how big your shoulders are. They don't care about anything like that. They just. They just like you. So it's a nice like, reset to the world. Look at those. Look at those fucking things. They're huge. They just keep growing, and I don't know how big hang they out. get. You guys, you're, you're the luckiest turkeys in the world. That's what yeah. I was gonna say. They're just our friends. Though. Yeah. It's always sort of been a dream to like raise chickens for the ability, because we eat a lot of eggs. This is Biggie. That's Biggie Smalls. 
That's Chicken Little over there. She always like flies out. And that's Richard. <laughs> I thought you had a rapper theme going there when you were like, Biggie, Biggie Smalls, that's Snoop, that's Tupac. Oh, that's Chicken Little. And that's Richard because he's a dick. <laughs> So how many eggs do you get a week from these chickens? Well, we get at, at least two a day. Yeah, two to three a day. Okay, okay. So I eat six whole eggs every other day. Oh, okay. That, that's your routine? Yeah. There you go. See? Look at this guy. Look at the size of this guy. We want, and we're going to get more hens. Have you gone osc uh, ovo pescatarian yet? Well, I eat nothing with four legs. So right now I What about me? I have two legs. Did you eat me? You're on the list, oh. <laughs> Jesus, I gotta get out of here. Okay, so we're at the warehouse and we're warming up for shoulders. So it's Dana and Rob and myself. We're just gonna have some fun on all their awesome equipment here. We're gonna try the new dumbbells first. Then we're gonna go use some of the prime stuff. And after that, we'll just see what's left. Good reps. Good reps. Yeah, let's go, a couple more. Last one. Come on, buddy. Get five more. I'm used to training with Rob. Three. Come on, two, one, two, one. Good, good fail. But it's always nice to have somebody else uh, cheering you on and, I don't know, he's fun to look at. Big old mutant man, big old Ron. So I like training with big guys. Here we go. Moron. Yeah. Moron. Pretty, pretty well known for my delts. Uh, so a lot, most of the time, people always want to train delts with me. Please. 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 Get. Get. Oh. I think her one body part that. It's really, really three-dimensional, and it throws a lot of people off. It makes people think that she's a lot bigger than she actually is. There you go. Mama. Bam. Yep. Okay, let's get him going. Push out. Up. Up. Ooh. Come on. <sighs> Oh. Oh. Is this where you call somebody from the front desk and put the oh. weights away? Oh. <laughs> I know the people. Oh. Primes. Go oh. press something? Yeah, let's go. We'll heard, go do the prime press. I heard you had a machine here. Yep. Good. What we're doing here of the prime stuff has the three different pins. So it overloads different parts of the strength curve. So if you put plates on the bottom, it's gonna get heavier as you lift. Plates in the middle gives More a good on. solid overall yeah. feel. More and on. plates on the top is gonna to be heavy at the bottom and lighter as they fall towards the back. So you can really play with the exercise. And uh, you know, if you got a weak point, you can train the weak point. If you're just trying to train the muscle on both ends of the range of motion, you can move the plates around. I got it, I got it. Good. 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 Uh, okay. Nice little experiment there. Okay, buddy. On the delts. So we went through a full shoulder workout. We used some of the new Prime equipment, which is pretty unique go. and bangs you up. I'm actually having a hard time talking right now. There you go. That's the spot. We did typical Daniel and Bailey workout, man. High volume, more reps, more sets than you want to do. Good groove. Up, 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 up. Come on. So Dan and I started training together, uh, I think, 12 years ago. Up, up. There's been big blocks of time for like a year where we train together every single day. And recently with uh, having the private gym and the public gym, we've been able to like, you know, offset it. So sometimes we train together, sometimes we don't train together, and we jump from gym to gym. And it's actually keeping it really, <laughs> really interesting, really refreshing. I'm gonna slap him on the back there. Oh. There we go, that's the hole. Bam! No. There you got the deuce. Get in again. I'm excited the days I get to train with go. her. And then when I don't, I sort of miss her a little bit. So it's it's building this interesting husband-wife training partner dynamic that's always evolving. 
Come on. Go ahead. Drive. Drive. There's no weight on there, Mom. Yes, there is. <laughs> Good set. Oh, my God. Oh. We only did four exercises for delts, which for Dana isn't a lot. She probably usually does eight. Come on, Ron. Ron gets his good reps up above his ears. And but for those two pieces of prime, the press and the side lateral, each set we did, we kept changing the cam. Good. So we do you know, 10 reps and then change the cam and squeeze out five more and then change the cam again and keep going. There we go. So if you count all those as sets, I mean, we could have done 50 sets. Good. Come on, Ron. There we go. Whew. Our shoulders aren't too pumped, are they? I would hate for that to happen. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Come on. Some beard power out of this one. I didn't win a train with Rob Bailey contest to stand here and watch you <laughs> pussy out. Yep. Oh. Let's go. What the fuck? There we go. God damn. God damn. Rob pushes it. You know, I'm always impressed by his intensity. The guy loves to go hard, but he does that in everything he does, you know? He goes hard. But he's looking bigger and better than ever now, so owning a gym's been good to him. Keep it going. Couple more. Up. 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 Thank you, Ron. I appreciate you. Because I care. Because you Canadians are nice. Aw, shucks. Did not let me embarrass Just myself. Just trying to be friendly. Oh my goodness. I think before Dana does her set, I have to tell the, the Mutant Nation something. I knew that it was going to be a big day. I knew that it was going to be a high volume workout, a lot of reps, and I thought, what can I do to get that little extra out of myself? And I thought, there's only one thing you can do. Wear Ooh. your flag nor fail. Ooh, wear your flag nor fail underwear. And you're gonna have the reps. I was wondering where that was going. <laughs> you were like, and I was like, what's he about to do? Come on. Come on, Mom. Come on. Dig in, last round. Good. Get it. Well, it's a lot of reps, man. Yeah, by the she, end of the day, yeah. She loves reps. Yeah, yeah. Well, Arnold says his whole life is reps. Let's do it. Rack it up. Okay, let's go. When you train with Rob and Dana, you're training with two people that just love to work out. They absolutely love it. You're not training with Miss Olympia and you're not training with the crazy flag or fail guy. You know, they're two of the most famous people in the industry, very accomplished, but you're just training because it's fun and they just love to train. What do you want to do for rears? I don't know. You guys are professional bodybuilders. I'm just some fucking dude. <laughs> IFBB pro. IFBB pro. Well, just some guy. I follow you guys. I got my card out of a fucking cereal box. <laughs> what are you talking about? Come on, Ron. Why is Ron so big? I don't know. He is fucking enormous. I don't know. Why? He looks like a mutant. Come on, Ron. It's weird having music this loud. Great. It's normally like... Oh, oh, you mean it's weird having it down? It's like four on the scale of ten. Right. Oh. The music right now is louder than like 99% of commercial gyms and it's the quietest they play the music. <laughs> as they turned it down for us. So, go, Dick. Mute Nation, I want to thank Rob and DLB for once again having us down to their little magical world here in Reading, Pennsylvania where they've created this alternate gym reality yeah. uh, for everyone to enjoy. <laughs> you know, we were at the, the old playground once and now we're at the new playground. And I have to say, this is uh, fantastic and refreshing to see the public warehouse 
now open. Come down and get a membership. Come down and see them on weekends. Do whatever you gotta do to come and train here because it's, it's really unbelievable what they've got. They've broken all the rules from the top to the bottom. They said fuck you to corporate America and they are here to stay. Here we are. And uh, great shoulder workout. Thanks guys, I appreciate you showing me around once again. Ooh, that professional handshake. Hey, there you go. Thank you, Ron. You like that? <laughs> and I'll give her a sweaty hug too. <laughs> there you go. Thanks Mutant Nation. Mutant on a mission. You know what my favorite part of the job is. Maybe I'm coming to your gym. You never know. You just never know. Email me, tell me why your gym should be a mutant on a mission stop. And maybe you'll see me one day with my camera crew, my huge flock of staff that follow me around. <laughs> Okay, thanks, Big Ron. We're out. Slide in my DMs. Slide in my DMs. <laughs> uh, we got a spin room in here? No, di no dick pics, though. You like me when I go for stir fry. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as last year. His sweatiness was not as bad. Oh, out comes the hair. Fucking serious business. Hey. Did you get that? I need 100 reps for the stack. Did you get that? Those are more compression pants. Yeah, I love them on leg day. Yeah. They make my they make my shit feel tight.